Well, it's December 31st, Chris, uh, New Year's Eve, and we got a party coming up, so I decided to make some uh, jalapeno farmer's cheese. So to make farmer's cheese, there's a million videos out there, uh, so I'll just go through what, I, what I've learned to do, and this is about my fourth time uh, making it. Um, so I've been experimenting with different flavors and everything. So what we got here is whole milk. Uh, just store-bought uh, whole milk. I, I haven't uh, tried to track down like organic or you know whatever. Uh, so the um, what I have here is uh, one half gallon whole milk, and I'm trying to bring it up to temperature of uh, 200. So when I get there, I'll take it off. Uh, it's right before it's going to boil, so we don't want it to boil because it'll burn the uh, the bottom. So I continuously uh, stir uh, the milk as it's going. And what I have in there already is uh, bell pepper uh, chopped up. Uh, and you know, so I have chopped up a uh, jalapeno as well. And uh, it's a great flavor. It tastes great on uh, crackers. And and uh, yeah, I, I guess I can you know, put it on like an uh, English muffin bagel, things like that. Uh, just remember, farmer cheese doesn't spread. Yeah, you know, so it's yeah, you know, basically you're cutting to slice. So the uh, so I'm going to bring this up to temperature. Then I'll take it off, let it uh, uh, sit for about 15 uh, minutes or so, and then I'll strain it with a cheesecloth uh, in the strainer there. Tie it off, and uh, yeah, I'll keep it keep it you know so that it'll uh, cling together, and then um, put it in the fridge. I'll keep it in there for a couple hours. And then uh, it's, it'll be ready to uh, serve, you know, and, you know, just put it on crackers and stuff for the party. All right, uh, you know, when I bring it up and uh, I wrap it up in the cheesecloth, I'll, uh, you know, uh, bring back the video. All right, we're almost up to temperature. So just a couple more minutes, and then uh, we'll add the vinegar. I think I uh, neglected to tell you guys, not, not that anybody wouldn't know this, you know, for making farmer cheese, but in order to separate the curds and whey, now, to, you know, the curds are what your farmer cheese is made of. You need uh, some vinegar, so just one third cup for the, uh, you know, half gallon of uh, whole milk. All right. All right, so we hit 200 degrees. Uh, one of the other things I neglected to say was to continuously uh, stir it because you don't want to scorch the uh, bottom. It's a pain in the butt to uh, clean the uh, bottom of the pot. But the... Uh, so I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to, before I add the uh, vinegar, I'm going to take out the thermometer. I'll clean that later. And now I'm going to add a third cup of vinegar. And then the science experiment starts. So the curds will separate. I'll give it a quick stir just to spread it up and around. And you'll see that it'll, uh, the curds will start separating. I'll let it sit like this for about 15 minutes or so. And then I'll dump the whole thing into the uh, cheesecloth and strainer. I'll pull up the sides and then uh, just plop it on that plate there and put it in the fridge. And around about, uh, you know, in a couple hours, it'll be cool enough uh, to eat by hand. Uh, yeah, and so we'll serve it up on crackers, things like that. That's it. So, uh, Happy New Year. Yeah, that was going, right? Now it's recording.